What are Earth observation applications and how important are they to people's lives? Earth observation applications cover a, a wide range of different radio services um, and the like uh, Earth exploration satellite service, meteorological satellite service, meteorological edge service like uh, radio sounds uh, and radio location service. So it's meteorological radars, weather, uh, weather radar in particular, many weather radars. Um, there, there was a need at the uh, last conference to uh, make uh, a better understanding for radio administration to understand what is Earth observation. Uh, because for a lot of uh, countries, this Earth observation is unclear. A lot of them think that it's uh, only Earth expression satellite. Uh, and some others don't really understand what we are doing. And so it was really, a, there was a need to, to do something at this conference at least, to, uh, to increase the recognition of the importance of these applications for uh, weather forecast, climate change uh, monitoring, disaster monitoring, uh, resource monitoring, and a lot of other general and uh, essential uh, issues for uh, all countries. How important are radio frequencies to Earth observation applications? I would say that it's not important, it's essential. Uh, there was a, a, an ITU statement in uh, the uh, Cancun uh, UNFCCC uh, conference uh, that was saying no spectrum, no observation or no global observation. Uh, and I think that it's obvious when you think about it, uh, when we are working with satellites, by nature, you have to download the data at least. Uh, but there are also some measurements that are made by radio and that are really nowadays really essential. So radio frequency is really essential, not important, but really essential for us. How widely acknowledged is the importance of frequency for Earth observation at WRC 12? There is really an, an, a need for uh, uh, raising the uh, awareness of the, uh, of the importance of, of this. Uh, and uh, although it's improving at the last conference, it was also a success for the Earth observation or meteorological community. We need really to improve the uh, recognition among all uh, members. It's a global challenge for all members because all countries here representing, uh, represented in this ITUR conference, all countries uh, benefit from all these measurements, although they are not uh, performed by their country. That's uh, the importance. Uh, and so there are a lot of issues, specific issues, more general issues. Uh, but I think that nowadays it's certainly improving and I'm very confident about the result of this conference. What decisions have been made on this issue so far at WRC 12? There is already an agreement on the lightning detection, an agreement on the MedSat at, 20, uh, at uh, 8 gigahertz, an agreement on Rough, roughly an agreement on the 811C resolution on the recognition, which is already a big step for us. Uh, and I'm, so that, that's already where we stand and I'm quite confident on the, uh, on the rest of the conference. Looking ahead, what do you think the future holds for Earth observation beyond WRC 12? Earth observation is, at the, is on the agenda at, at least from my knowledge since 1997 conference uh, and so I expect that it will be also at the, at the, on the agenda for the next WRCs either for the protection or either for requesting some additional bands uh, and for sure the next conference will will see uh, some issues related to Earth observation mainly with regard to the uh, to make sure that we will remain protected uh, there is a huge agenda item that is popping up uh, actually on the broadband mobile and we know that, and we are not alone, Earth observation is on the one hand, but all communities we are really fearing this, uh, this issue. So we, we, sh we, we know that for sure uh, we will have to, to defend ourselves at the next conference. Uh, but the same will apply also on other agenda items for the WRC 15. But I'm sure that uh, it's a never ending story. Radio frequency is a never ending story anyway. So something will come up uh, at the next conferences for, for years and uh, we will be there anyway. <laughs>